Alright guys, and we are back with more Trails of Cold Steel. And uh, last episode, of course, we left off and we were about to take our practical exam, I think. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Wait, hold on. any life coming from it at all that's right think of it like a scarecrow only it's a moving scarecrow i guess either way it's not alive i've set its parameters fairly high though so it is formidable but if you give it your all i'm confident you can beat it probably wow she's a pro make good use of your arcus's combat link abilities for example and i bet it'll be a piece of cake hint hint oh, wow Oh, so that's what you're playing at. All right, begin. Ooh, this is easy. Enemies ahead. We'll have to fight. Meet the following condition: No one is knocked out during the battle. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. And this. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. It's not really weak to anything. Combat dummy. Set up practical exams. Feel strange to the touch and fight this program. So, swords... Okay, so a lot of attacks are really gonna mess it up pretty much. Leave it to me. Okay. Hopefully... Paralysis probably isn't gonna work for me too much. How about this thing? Go! Gets a lot of turns, I'll see. There! My turn. Get a turn. turn, and uh, none of his attacks uh, impede. Uh, none of his attacks really impede, so this could be kind of dangerous. It's kind of unfortunate that your boy doesn't get a turn, though. Open. Damn, I hate that. Oh god. Won't give up. Wow. Good. 
Damn. This is bad. Not yet. Won't give up. There. That's that. Let's keep moving. Oh, they got kind of crazy. Dude. Oh man. And we were all like grouped up in the same place. That was kind of scary. I'm not even gonna lie. AP increased by one. We won. D don't know how, though. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Excellent use of combat links, too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. <laughs> it just may have. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? <laughs> All right, on to the second group. Laura, Emma, Eusis. Come forward. <sighs> that was tougher than I thought it would be. Seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. <laughs> Instructor, may I ask a question? Hmm. What exactly was that marionette we just fought? <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? I've never seen anything else like it. Um, just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. Yeah, that's weird. Did I just see another uh, piece of dialogue? But it looked like I skipped it on accident. I don't know. What was that about? I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell us. Anyway, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Well, I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than a field study. Uh, what? Field study? <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, we only just got to the Academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, Instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> wow. Well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine. Where exactly will we be going, and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. Hmm. What? Brian, Elisa, Laura, and Elliot. Group B will be Emma, Marcus, Yusis, Fee, and Gaius. Oh shit, so Gaius isn't gonna be on our team anymore. We're going to the Celtic, the market town. What? Oh god, Alisa, stop it. 
Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Yeah, my girl Laura's with me. Oh, baby. Keldig and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldig's a market town on the east side of the Empire. We still have our healer, so that's good. But I can make somebody else a healer, too, because we ended up getting another tier. And Parm is situated in the deep south. It's known for its spinners. Spinners? All that way? How irritating. <sighs> I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. Oh yeah, him and you, him and uh, uses are together. Oh gosh, unbelievable. <laughs> oh man. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the academy. Hmm. Said you rank. Old school mystery was five. Orbital delivery was four. Number where they lost was four. The story of season was four. Ace did his question. The practical exam was four. And that says plus one, I think? Is even information has occurred? Yeah, four plus one. So we got 23 and our rank went up. Hmm. Thank you for everything. Who was that, Toa? Probably was Toa. <sighs> I still haven't been able to apologize to her. We can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. Right? I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something. But when am I going to get the chance? Ah. Uh... Morning, Elisa. Uh, morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Well, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? <laughs> no, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Wh why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. <laughs> Wait, he had his hands out like you were trying to catch me. No, he had his hands out because he didn't want you to think nothing. <laughs> that's hilarious. Don't worry about it. Oh, that man, trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. Well, yeah, she, she's admitting that now. That's cool. So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. No, it's... I, I mean, you're... Welcome. 
<laughs> Sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. You have a sister? Oh, you have a younger sister? Yeah, that's, that's gonna help. <laughs> for another time. I think I'm the same way. <laughs> I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now, but every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. <laughs> though you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. Well, that counts, though. I still appreciate the thought. Right? Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, anyway, hmm? we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean. This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically, the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, <laughs> you know, and I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever. Forget it ever happened. Can't do that. Are we clear? It, yes, perfectly. Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. All right. Huh? Hell yeah. Uh, There's my girl right there. Oh, good morning. So, Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Wow. Whoa, whoa! That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> bah, right, whatever you say. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> Now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, th that's a good idea, actually. Wow. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? All rare ports and accessories have been unequipped by other group members. <laughs> Alright, y'all know what we gotta do. Gotta see it. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Alright, Laura, what you looking like? Yeah, I like that. Great. Yes, I think she doesn't do well with magic. <laughs> Kinda like Judy on uh, the spirit. Makes sense. Automatically recover from KO? Ooh. Begins the battle with strength raised. Hmm. But of course. Oh wait, yo! Something else I noticed.
Marcus covers can be changed by selecting cover in the shop menu. Huh. Me off now, huh? Oh, darling, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> that was quite a kiss. Take care of her, okay? They're all over each other. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dale. Oh, you're. You're all from class 7, aren't you? I heard all about your field study. You opened the store earlier than usual just for you, so pop on in and read it. Also, good luck with everything. We appreciate it. She's so sweet, she's making me blush. Alright, Sweet cookie, fresh egg. We have no money at all. Oh my gosh. Proxy puppet. Provides on KO 10% HP points. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Well, can't buy anything, unfortunately. I ended up getting that quartz. <laughs> of course, it was like expensive as shit at uh, Spectre Quartz. Brandon, who's something of an organizer for Trisha's shopping district, suggested we open early on your field study days. We thought this was a fine idea, but have no fear the early hour won't hinder our devotion to the highest level of service. Let's see what she had. T-shirt with... Wow, is it is it actually like a cosmetic thing? Or is it just armor? Looks like it's just armor, but... Damn, we have no money at all. I mean, I could sell some of that stuff I have, probably. <clears throat> yeah, well, this looks nice in her outfit. I'm not even gonna lie. Ah, good morning, everyone. Are you all preparing to leave as well? Morning. Good morning. Y'all ready to... Y'all good to go then? Yes, farm is quite a distance from here. We're not likely to arrive before you. Hmm, considering its relative location, that seems to be as an... be an accurate estimate. I guess it is the southernmost town in the Arabonia. Makes you realize just how big the Empire is. But, um... Look at them too. <sighs> Still at it, huh? Have they been like this the entire time? Great, so. I think we may have underestimated how deeply rooted their differences are. I'm sick of them already. <laughs> <sighs> if only they were as willing to put aside their differences as Rian and Melissa. Oh, now that you mention it, I guess you were finally able to make up with her, huh? 
It's not like we're getting along that poorly. Besides, we haven't known each other long enough to call it making up. But that's good news, right? Well done. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Why does everyone keep have to keep making such a big deal out of it? Because that's what you were doing, making a big deal out of it. Passenger service bound for him, dollar. Now we're adding it on platform two. We ask that all customers utilizing this service please wait on the platform until the train has come to a beat stop. Best of luck. Though, so, here's hoping you don't need it. Yeah, those two to work together? Sure. <laughs> sure doesn't seem like an easy task. We'll do what we can. Good luck to all of you. Please be take care. It's our first fuel study. Let's show them what we're made of. <laughs> of course. Later. I wonder if they'll be okay. Well, as long as Emma and Gaius are with them, they shouldn't get too out of hand. Now, V, I have, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from her. She doesn't really seem like the type to cause a ruckus to have least. I'm concerned for them as well. But I believe we should be focusing on our own trials right now. You're right. Let's go back and take it. Welcome, you're the students from Place 7, right? And your destination is Keldic? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just there ready and waiting for us. I suspect Instructor Sarah made considerable preparations on our behalf. Sure looks that way, not that I'm complaining. That train for Keldic will be departing from Platform 1. It's not due just yet, but you can buy your tickets in advance if you'd like and wait for its arrival. Very good. That's four passengers bound for Kelly. I have those tickets for you in the for you in just a moment. We ask that all passengers wishing. Oh shit! I I was looking down. Oh man, I was that. I believe so. I had to change trains from trains there when I originally came to Tristan. Oh yeah, you're from the ground, right? That would be in the direction of Barahan. After changing a Celtic, right? That's correct. After which point, it would be necessary to switch again at Barahan. Situated in a very remote part of the country. <laughs> well, let's say the same for where I'm from, too. As I understand, Celtic's Mostly known as a merchant town, right? Yeah, that's been their main source of tourism for some time. Mostly thanks to the Grand Market. Couldn't hurt to go over what we know about the town before we get there. As Elliot stated, Celtic is a market town at its core. It's in the eastern province of Cruzen and has been a major trading hub for a very long time. It's also a major interchange station connecting Hemdar with it. Bear hard and even Cosmo. The area itself is known for having a large number of 
Anaris. So this has, of course, been overshadowed in recent years by the aforementioned guard. Grand market, oh my god. Virtually anything can be cured there. From farm produce, jewels, and bear heart, furs, to imported goods from a farm. That does sound awfully impressive. Hmm, I'm kind of looking forward to this now. I would be too, if I knew we'd actually have a chance to take in the sights. There's no telling what kind of crazy thing the instructor Sarah has planned for us. Boy, isn't that the shit. I can't even hazard a guess as to what this field study might involve. Being part of our curriculum though, it's a safe bet to assume it won't be easy. If it were, it would hardly be worth the trip. Personally, I'm looking forward to learning the true nature of our excursion. I suppose that's a good way to look at it. Well, we'll find our answer when we get there. We're supposed to drop by the end as soon as we arrive. There should be an envelope waiting for us there. Details on our mission. Yeah, that's right. Still, this whole trip seems eerily well planned out, don't you think? Even the station employees knew we were coming. We it just goes to show how the, how high the uh, Academy's expectations are for all of you. Who's saying that? Oh shit, it's Sarah Fines. Whoa! I know, right? Instructor! I was wondering why you were nowhere to be seen this morning. Looks like Group A is all present and accounted for. Good, good. And I'm relieved to see that the two of you have finally managed to make up. You say that it is. You say that as if, as if it's old news. Have you been spying on us the whole time? <laughs> so what brings you here? I thought you were planning on staying back at the academy. She did say that. Well, considering this is your first time out on, in the field, I assume. You'd be positively lost without me. What about the other squad then? So I decided to stick around at least until you finish checking in at the end. Oh, well, well thanks I guess, but I think Group E could have used your help a little more. Right. Would it not have been better for you to accompany the others? Uh, but they'd be a nightmare to deal with. Wow. I may still have to go with them. I may still have to go with them though. If those out of control, but we'll cross the, that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> See, she knew full well that Yusuf and Machias wouldn't get along, but put them in the same group anyway. I did suspect this much, but it's hard to believe she confirmed it so nonchalantly. <laughs> anyway, don't pay me any mind. You four feel free to keep talking. I didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm just gonna take a little nap right here. What? And she's out. Wow, she's asleep already? Incredible. I don't think I've ever seen someone less inclined to be an educator than her. <laughs> Maybe we're better off just letting her sleep though. I should probably wake her when we get to Celtic though. Let's talk to Elliot. Hey, I almost forgot I had these. I just picked them up on a whim a little while ago. Elliot held out a pack of blade cards. We actually have some too. Oh, you got a pack too? I just got a, my own set. I got a set of my own from the pawn shop at Trista. Really? That's perfect then. we we play a few hands. Seems like we got some time to kill before we arrive. You know the rules? Yeah, they're not that complicated, so I don't think anyone here will have any trouble picking it up. Sounds like a good way to pass the time to me. Indeed, it seems like it could be an enjoyable diversion. Alright, let's give it a try then. Traveling by train, you can play the card game Play with other members of your group to strengthen your bonds with them. Ooh, only the first match will, with each character will increase your bond with that person. This will occur whether you win or lose. Let's talk to Elisa. When I came to the academy, I liked that shirt on her, god damn. I never thought I'd find myself visiting the Grand Market of, Kel of Keldig as part of my stay. I've read about it before, but this will be my first time seeing the place in, in person. Oh really? 
Well, if you're so early here, no. Then, I guess it's still something to look forward to. Is there anything in particular you're hoping to see? Hmm, the gems and furs from Barahard. Maybe. They say some of the highest quality goods produced by Barahard's artisans are sold at the Grand Market. It sounds like it would, would be worth seeing, for sure. Though, somehow, I doubt we'll be able to afford anything, as we are broke. Still, if we get a chance, we should go check it out together while we're in town. <laughs> sounds like fun. My girl, Laura. I do wonder what precisely these field study trips will involve. I can't even fathom a guess. Likewise, the weirdest part for me is the divide between Group A and B. Why were we split up and spent sent to different places? And most bizarrely of all, why were Machias, were Machias and Uses placed in the same group? It's like they're just asking for trouble. It does seem quite illogical. I can only assume there's a hidden purpose to, the, to these trips beyond what's been told. Perhaps multiple purposes requiring multiple groups to fulfill. Yeah, that's my best guess too. There has to be something going on behind the scenes here. Which is why I wanted to ask Instructor Sarah a few more questions, but uh, well, she is laid the fuck out. I don't think she'll be doing much answering. Perhaps she fell asleep deliberately to avoid addressing such concerns. Our good Instructor is quite the formidable opponent. That's one way to describe her. Guess we're just going to have to work out the meaning of these feels the study trips on our own. <laughs> Go easy on me, okay? Now you guys are gonna... Okay then, let's draw! You guys are gonna, uh... The same score means we draw again, right? Looks like you're up first. The same score means we draw again, right? Oh my god. This you're gonna recognize this song? The same score means we draw oh again. Oh my right? god, what is happening right now? The same score means oh. we draw again, right? <laughs> well, looks like I'm up first. No. Wait. No. Bolt. Oh my gosh. I win! Oh my gosh. Let's get started. I love this song. Come on, draw a card. Looks like I'm going first. Come on with the mirrors! Get out of here, dude! Oh my god. <laughs> I won! Bruh! Oh my god. She had mirrors on deck, dude. <laughs> Yo, wait, I saw a save option. Let us begin our duel. Oh my god. Please draw a card. The first move is yours. <laughs> well played. Divine Bolt! <laughs> well played. Divine Bolt! I didn't expect that.
Mirror. Oh my god. An excellent duel. Damn. Alright, so let's save. Uh, love this song. Though. Please draw a card. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt. <laughs> well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. I didn't expect that. Mirror. Oh my god. Laura, you. Laura. An excellent duel. Oh my god. Did you see she had six, a six and a seven? Oh my god. Jesus. She really is fast to see. <laughs> like a baby. Never seen even a child fall asleep quite as quickly as that. I know I should. She must have a natural talent for sleeping. That's weird. <laughs> well, that's not deserved. Alright, stop talking. Mm. Ah! Wow! Looking like Red Period Chronicles out here. What a spectacular view. The rye plant at last fall seems almost ready for harvesting. Now that now I thought rye could only be harvested in the fall. Well, the soil in this area is supposed to be extra fertile due to the warmer climate, so things are a little different. It really is amazing. It looks like something out of a painting. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This transcontinental train is bound for Crossbell. The next stop is Keldic. Keldic. Passengers traveling to Bereahard. Please change trains at this stop. I must stay here. Guess I should wait for Sarah. Naria? Why does that sound so familiar? That sounds familiar as hell. the market.
Wow, so this is Kildick. It seems like a really relaxing little town. Though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldick's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. Which you're gonna be drinking a lot of, I'm sure. But you're all still minors, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Bruh. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. Anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's, uh, right over there. Damn, are you drunk already? Okay, let's go. Well, well, I hadn't expected to see the Purple Lightning herself in such a quaint little town. Purple Lightning? Who is Purple? Yeah, Sarah. Sarah. I'm pretty sure he's talking about Sarah. When she did her ass crab, did you see all that Purple Lightning? Hmm. And the chicks with her seem like an interesting lot, too. No time for that now. I have more pressing matters to attend to. Chicks. Wow. Okay, who's this guy? Hey there, Margaret. Well, if it isn't Sarah, what are you doing here? I knew the kids were coming, but I didn't think you'd be coming with them. Oh, I just figured I'd help them get settled in before I left. And here they are, my lovely students. Oh, now, aren't they here? A youthful looking bunch. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're first year students from Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. I'm Reed. I'm Alyssa, thanks for putting us up. The pleasure's all mine, I assure you. I'm Margaret, the owner of this humble establishment. Sarah has taken care of all of your arrangements. Come, I'll show you to your room. But thank you, ma'am. Much obliged. Alright, Sarah, I guess we, uh... You better be careful, because there's some dude out there looking for your ass, and I ain't trying to... Um, mm. Be careful, all right? <laughs> Luis, can I get some beer and snacks? I'll bring them right over. You do know it's not even noon though, right? My girl don't care. <laughs> ah. This is the room you're all gonna be staying in tonight. Wait, we're all in the same room? Ah, that's what I said, wait, we're all? Yeah, this is... Oh, it's kind of big. Oh, yeah. It's hella big. Yay! Yo, I like this. More than enough space for our needs. Thank you very much. But there are four beds, which means... Are you suggesting we sleep in the same room as the boys? I had my doubts about that, too. But Sarah insisted, so that was that. I broke the beds into groups of two to make things less awkward, but that was about the best I could manage. I don't believe this! This is gonna be a goddamn problem and a half. I don't have a problem with it personally, but I can imagine the girls will, will be quite as accepting. Laura probably don't, but of course, Elisa, of course. Elisa, I don't believe we have a choice here. We are military students. We mustn't allow the prospect of mixed gender accommodations to face us. I know that, but in the army, women share rooms with men. It's a fact of life, born of necessity. You will need to adjust to this reality sooner or later, and this does seem a perfect opportunity. Okay, okay, I get it. But if either of you comes n anywhere near our beds, <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Likewise. Wasn't talking about you, Elliot. 
I was referring to a certain someone who's already has a history of what is she talking about? She's out here just making shit up now. <sighs> Maybe if we chain me into the bed. Wow, I thought she gotten over that. Oh my god. I put you in this dope outfit and now this is what this is how you repay me. Okay. Okay. Anyway, now that your room's all sorted, let me give you this. Hmm? Field study envelope. April. Isn't that our Academy's emblem? Does this contain the details of our assignment here? Our quest? That's what I've been told, yes. Well, if you need anything during your stay, just let me know for now. I'll let you get settled in. <laughs> Is this our quest? Because um, I'm going to actually try to end the episode. Keyword try. Because I tend to get lost and lost. I, I, I seem to lose track of time when I'm playing this game. All right, so let, let's have a look inside. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. You have studied day one, assigned task. East Celtic Highway Monster. A dangerous monster has appeared near the highway and it is making it very difficult for us to harvest our crops. Can someone please help us? Monster is Scary Dinosaur, a plateau near the East Celtic Highway. My house is alongside the East Celtic Highway. Please stop by camp. Sire. Any bright ideas? I need someone to replace a malfunctioning orbit light and a roll in for me. For any more details, see me at Ivan's Arms and Orbital Factory. Samus? Samus like Samus Aaron? Samus is fine asses in here? Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I've run out of some of, some of the ingredients I need to make a particular medicine. It would very much I would very much appreciate it if someone could procure more for me. Please speak with me in the church for more further details. So if we we're gonna do anything, we need to do for the common cold first. Because if we do these, if we do these, I'm pretty sure. We won't be able to do that. So we're gonna do that the, for the common cold first, if I can help it. Study area is defined as a 200 sil radius around Celtic. Each student must record his or her activities daily to be remitted to the instructor upon request. <laughs> so this is our field step. It just looks like a list of manual tasks to me. There is a monster elimination quest request at least, but that's the most we have. I see, so that triangle. Excuse me? Did you figure something out? Oh, no, it's not. We should go and talk this over with Instructor Sarah. She's pr she probably stuck around specifically to answer any questions we might have. Mm, you might be right. And, and, and while we're at it, we can grill her about this... <sighs> She's still talking about this damn room. So can I say, all right, all right. So guys, this is a pretty cool looking room. They got lit. I'm hoping this ain't liquor, but I think I see grapes on that bottle. Yeah, looks like grapes on that bottle. So they got us a nice little room. Somebody can do their homework right here. Got a lot of books for Elliot, uh, even though he probably won't be able to play his music. And uh, your girl, well, she's got enough room to train right here, probably. So, yeah, guys, we are going to go ahead and end the episode off here. This was actually pretty cool. That Blade um, that Blade game is pretty cool. I love that song. I love, love, love that song. Um, Well, by the time I started... Wait, I could rest? Wait, what did I see? I saw an explosion. Well, we don't need to now, but so yeah, guys. Um, by the time you know, once my videos start going up, of course you're gonna hear that song. Um, but so yeah, I'm loving this game so much. I am enjoying it. Uh, the the quests are great. I love the fact that because that that first um the first uh what was that the first like first part of the the game. Where we had the first three quests, and then we talked to, to the Fred guy that was in that shop, and it was a, it was like, a, I think it was like a hidden quest. I thought that was pretty cool. I really think that's cool. So, um, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely, um, enjoying that. Really enjoying that. 
I'm really enjoying it, I have to say. So let's make let's let's go ahead and cook. Alright, let's get started. Well that turned out well. Alright, there we go. So we did our first cook. And uh yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. I'm loving this game so much. Loving it a lot. So um yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until then I guess we will be back with more trails of code steel and I will catch you guys later.